A young gay sex worker fantasizes about sexual encounters ranging from the fantastical and the mythological, the grubby and grimy, to the luscious and the natural. As ethereal fantasies lead into more and more fantasies, the young man lingers within dreams reflecting his intimate loneliness and the beauty of sexual ecstasy. This is James Bidgood's Pink Narcissus, a film which was originally released with anonymous credits for James Bidgood's roles as director, writer, cinematographer and designer, due to his pulling out from the film's post-production process, having lost control over the film's final edit. However, with its distinct dreamy colour palette and risque homoeroticism that skewers the 1950s teeny bopper romanticised imagery of cishet teen love, Pink Narcissus has proven to be an influential and essential piece of queer experimental cinematic history, discussing the influence of Pink Narcissus in relation to the art world and contemporary queer pop culture, Oliver Basciano wrote for The Guardian stating that his masterpiece inspired the likes of Pierre Egil and David LaChapelle, who enjoyed the fame and economic security that eluded him. Bidgood has also been cited by a younger generation of creatives, including singers Charlie XCX and Ollie Alexander, and his influence can be detected in the style of rapper Lil Nas X, among others. Reminiscent of the vibrancy of Powell and Pressburger, the hazy homoeroticism of Ken of anger, and the textured, overlaid imagery of Stan Brackage, James Bidgood's Pink Narcissus goes the extra mile with its depiction of explicit sexuality, via the fantastical and the mythological, its flamboyancy of clear importance to many artists during its release, and even now within the present day. The title Pink Narcissus refers to the Greek myth of Narcissus, distinguished for his physical beauty, falling in love with his own reflection in the water. Once he died, a flower sprouted, a Narcissus. The pink of Pink Narcissus places the mythological within a queer perspective, as the myth is alluded to in the film's own beautiful protagonist, photographs of himself on his mantelpiece indicating his own vanity, as a yellow Narcissus flower motif appears throughout the film, sometimes in the form of a yellow butterfly. The homoeroticism of Pink Narcissus itself feels almost like recreated sexual scenarios etched onto the side of an ancient Greek vase due to the chiselled and picturesque bodies of the models within the film. The images of Pink Narcissus are filled with meaning regarding sexuality and loneliness. As the young sex worker plays a jewel encrusted record that sings the lyrics, I'm so lonesome thinking about you, his emotions are replicated within the song. His loneliness motivates the fantasizing of intimacy via extravagant settings, homoerotic fetishist tropes from public sex, similar to the illustrations of Tom of Finland, the masculinity of Roman era power, which reflects the queer sexual concept of top and bottom, and the observation of a provocative nude dancer who uses his erection as part of the performance. These scenes are filled with allusions to sexuality, intensified by the protagonist's own loneliness. Strands of beads come together reminiscent of a sex toy, as they are rubbed like a phallus. Nude muscular men accompany the protagonist as an emperor figure, feeding into the fantasy of being able to have any man he pleases, and the unsimulated act of oral sex in a public toilet, reflective of the days of cottaging, leaves the actors drenched in a pool of white fluid, an exaggerated portrayal of the act of climaxing. The protagonist himself fantasizes about making love to the earth, thrusting into the ground, as if his loneliness leads to satisfying his libido himself, or perhaps also relates to the natural beauty of homosexuality, something present beyond humanity but also throughout the animal kingdom. These images are incredibly graphic, with unsimulated sexual acts and frequent nudity reappearing throughout the film, but the meanings one can interpret from them are truly beautiful. Pink Narcissus's ability to delve within the fantasies held within fantasies, exploring the mental stimulation of wet dreams, James Bidgood explored his own fascination with dreaming. Later in Oliver Basciano's article, citing an interview with James Bidgood, Basciano wrote that, in 1999, James Bidgood was revealed as the author of this underground classic. The director had fallen out with the producers over the final cut of the movie and, despite having spent six years making it, meticulously building the sets and 
and filming the entire thing in his Hell's Kitchen apartment, he demanded his name be removed. The film, he said, was a portrait of his own dreams as a young gay man in New York. I'm addicted to dreaming, he told Butt Magazine in 2010. If you mean getting lost in fantasies, ideas, hearing tunes, seeing rhyme couplets, because I'm working on a musical, the whole schmear, book, music, lyrics, I win all sorts of awards dreaming. I've won the Tony and wept uncontrollably giving my thank you speech at least a dozen times in my imagination, usually in the bathtub. Pink Narcissus focuses on James Bidgood's fascination for daydreaming, while also integrating his identity as a gay man, relatable to any person who has thought of sexual fantasies, but Bidgood also discussed how, as an artist, he also dreamed of the big time success of other contemporary artists. This is especially relatable for anyone with a background in creative artistic work. The level of success we'd love to attain as an escapism from our current situation. Pink Narcissus therefore resembles a sexual escapism, not exclusively for James Bidgood, but for all the queer people who watch it. A distance from the seediness of reality, one can dream of the beautiful climax and picturesque ecstasy like that which Narcissus himself felt when viewing his own reflection. In conclusion, James Bidgood's Pink Narcissus may be an explicit and daring exploration of sexuality, establishing and embracing an influential high camp aesthetic which makes allusions to Greek mythology through its fantastical sequences, but Pink Narcissus is also a sexual love letter to the dreamers, those in search of escapism for their problems. For the protagonist of Pink Narcissus, there is a need to escape loneliness in a seedy world. For Bidgood's own dreams of success, there was a need to be respected just as much as his more successful contemporaries. And for the viewers, only they know truly why they dream. A special thank you to my super Patreon supporters, Gil, Constantine Bombelli and Victoria.